Hey, this is Coach Tommy Tuberville. I just want to take a minute to join you as you mark the 25th anniversary of the International Religious Freedom Act. I want to say thank you to you, sir, for all you do to protect the rights of the religious minorities around the world. UFRA was a bipartisan bill that recognized our first freedom, the freedom of religion. Yet from Cuba to Iran to North Korea, all over our world, there are attacks on religious, religious freedoms. Worst of all, we've seen threats to religious freedoms here and at home. Today's radical woke ideology has redefined the religious beliefs of billions of Christians, Muslims, and Jews as bigotry and hatred. Anyone who does not bow down to the new woke orthodoxy gets canceled. In Canada or the United Kingdom, which were built by people of faith, is now, it is now illegal to read certain passages from the Bible in public. Christians in England have been arrested for praying silently in front of abortion clinics. This is absolutely appalling, ridiculous. Our founders would have had no doubt that this is tyranny. James Madison wrote that all men have a right to their property and the most sacred property is their self-conscious. Yet in today's America, the woke left has tried to redefine freedom and freedom of religion as freedom of belief. But that's not what our constitution says. The constitution protects the free exercise of religion. It's not just the freedom to believe in your head, it's the freedom to live out your faith. Like you, I am deeply troubled by these trends at home and abroad. But that's why I'm so grateful to you, sir, and the countless, countless people of faith who are working and praying every day for the full protection of freedom of religion. I take comfort in the words of St. Paul, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Thank you and God bless you in your very, very, very important work.